like Boogie Woogie. You might have seen those professional Boogie Woogie players like, say, Jules Holland, and when they're improvising, they're adding in these really intricate, really fast finger runs, and it makes their Boogie Woogie sound so much more professional. They add so much spice to your Boogie Woogie, but when you first start out, it can be really difficult knowing how to play them, or even where to slot them in to your own Boogie Woogie. So, in this video, I'm gonna give you three Boogie Woogie finger runs that you can just learn, have some fun with. So, let's crack on with run number one. So this run is fantastic to just get your foot in the door and get your fingers exposed to how playing runs feel. So, sounds like this. One, and two, and three, and four. Two, and three, and four, and four. Okay? So, right hand, into the C position first, and you want your thumb on the C and your little finger on the G. And the very first thing you're gonna do is just don't even worry about a run. Just start at the top and just get your fingers used to playing all of those notes nice and evenly and smoothly. Staying relaxed and just falling from the top down to the bottom like this. So we've got a G, then we've got an F sharp with the fourth finger, F with the third, E flat with the second finger, and thumb onto the C, okay? So top, and then down, okay? And when you've given that a few goes, then we can start using this and trying to play that in what we might think of as more of like a run. Now, this is a good point to talk about my falling down the stairs, boogie woogie finger run method, a uh, bit of a mouthful, but it does what it says on the tin. If we imagine we're at the top of the stairs, we've got a G, and at the bottom of the stairs, when we land in a crumpled heap, we've got our C. And all of these notes in the middle these run notes, we'll call the stairs. So we start at the top of the stairs, we tumble down these notes here, or these stair stairs, and then we land on the C at the bottom, like this. And there are many ways to play finger runs, don't get me wrong, you know, where we're sticking to very specific rhythms, but when you speed it up, when you play boogie woogie really, really fast, there's no way you're picking out what all those runs are and how many notes are in the run or anything, it just sounds like a cool little ornament. So it's a really nice way to kind of picture what we're doing here and get a feel for it. Because if you think of these runs in the middle as one thing, as one entity, it's like you push yourself into it and you relax into it like this. And that's the feel we want. We want to start, you know, hook the listener in, fall down the stairs, fall down those that run, and then anchor it with our bottom note. So it's like top, fall to the bottom, top, fall to the bottom like this. And as a solid exercise, we can say, you know, we can do this run starting on any beat, really, but let's say we'll start on the four and we'll end on the one. So we go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And when you're playing that run, we've got to maintain that looseness and that kind of snap from the fingers. Bam, brum. Bam, da, da, da. Yeah? Okay, if we put the left hand in, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. Okay, if you want to make it a little bit more exciting, put the C in at the bottom as well. So C and G and then the C. So like that. And two and three. Okay. Really nice run to start with. Now on run number two, things are going to start getting a little bit more interesting. And uh, I use this one all the time. And you can actually use it in a few different places. So I'll play it for you first. Uh, sounds like this, you know. Okay. So what's happening here? This is a fantastic way to connect your boogie woogie positions together. So let's say we're playing around in, in F. It's a fantastic way to move from the F back to the C, okay? So, following our falling down the stairs method, we're gonna start at the top, this C here, and we're gonna, our, uh, so, so this is, okay, we're at the top of the stairs with the C, and then our staircase is the A, the G, the F, and then the C at the bottom. So we're going, okay, these are our staircase notes. And then to finish off, if we're gonna bring this into a nice, very useful, very practical riff that you can pull into your boogie woogie, we will end with 
um, a pullback onto the E and the G. You can just pull back onto the E if you want, um, but you can also just pull back onto the E and the G and you get that really nice boogie woogie sound. Yeah, so from here, and then pull back. And it's, it's a very short little lick, but you'll be able to put that in to numerous places, especially when you're moving from the F to the C. So again, one, um, one and two and three and four. Yeah. Yeah. Now watch this. So it also works moving from the C position down to the G position as well. Super, super useful run. And quickly, just before we move on to run number three, if you are finding these runs a little bit difficult, right, or you need some help with more of the fundamentals of Boogie Woogie, like hand coordination, rhythm, uh, even the 12 bar blues in general, then I've put together a completely free five day get started masterclass. I'll send you five structured lessons over five days and each day follows on from the last, okay? So by the end of those five days, you will be playing your very first amazing sound Boogie Woogie Riff. I've put a link in the cards up above and more information down below on how to join. Uh, it's completely free. So let's move on to run number three. Sounds like this. Very useful run, uh, again, and it's really good if you're just sticking around in the C position and you want to kind of move from a top octave, say. And you want to nicely move from like a high position down to a low position. So we'll learn this as like an isolated riff, slightly longer riff this time, uh, but again, it's great for you to learn, pull it into the boogie woogie bank, so to speak, and just pull it out when you need it. So we're going to start off on this G. And we'll isolate this bit. Okay. So we're going to start out. We go um, uh, one and two and three and four. And, okay, so we're coming in on the end of the four. G, C, D, E flat, E. All right, so now we're at the top of the stairs. The E is our top of the stairs note. G, C, D, E flat, E. And now we're going to run down our staircase notes, which is a D, a C, and a G, like this. And then, at the bottom of the stairs, our third finger comes over and strikes the F, like this. So, a little bit more technique here. Okay. Uh, one, and two, and three, and four. Okay. One, and two, and three, and four. Okay, one more time. One, and two, and three, and four. And then thumb down to the C, and then pull back like this onto the G, uh, sorry, pull back from the E flat to the E, and then back to the C like this, okay? With the left hand, three, and four. Really cool uh, run. Now, let's see if I can play all of those three runs within one full Boogie Woogie. Um, I'm going to keep it relatively simple. This is all about just seeing how we can actually use those runs. So, how might it sound? So, you know, they can work and they can fit in and they can sound absolutely fantastic. I really hope you enjoy them and you bring them into your boogie woogie arsenal. One thing you might have noticed throughout all of this video is that there is another essential boogie woogie technique that I've been using and I call it the pullback and the drop technique. So if you want to learn all about that, you can go check out this video next and I'll guide you through that technique step by step and I'll even give you a full piece of music to use it in that sounds amazing as well. So, till next time. Peace.